Fox 5 exclusive tonight. A D.C. mother says her daughter was made to expose herself as part of a search at a Northeast D.C. school tonight. The school acknowledging that it did not follow proper notification protocols. Yeah, David Kaplan live for us at KIPP D.C. College Prep. Uh, David, this is a crazy story. How is that girl feeling? I I'm assuming a lot of emotions here for this family. Indeed, I got a chance to talk to her mother earlier today. She said that she's having a really hard time with it, that she feels like she was violated as a result of what happened this past Wednesday, and she now wants to have her senior year, this 17-year-old girl does, at a different school. Natasha Wiggins recounted the first conversation she had with her daughter last Wednesday afternoon. Take a listen. You can hear shaking in her voice, and she said, Ma, a staff member made me lift my bra up and expose myself to her. Side kind of says it all, doesn't it? Wiggins says her daughter got to school, walked through a metal detector twice, and it went off both times. Then administrators made a decision to do a private search. That's something that the student handbook allows for. This happened in a copy room, we're told. However, the handbook also spells out that Natasha Wiggins or any other guardian or witness had to be contacted if that search took place, quote, unless it's impractical to do so. Indications are there was no witness in the room when this girl was asked to lift her shirt and bra, according to mom. Now, Fox 5 requested a statement this morning from the school about this incident. They told us they reviewed video footage from the incident and statements from both the KIPP DC staff member and student in question. We have no reason to believe there was any improper activity, adding that they are working to improve safety policies and procedures. I followed up on this, asking more questions about the private search, which wasn't addressed in the original statement, and whether anyone was contacted. The school then said that they did attempt to contact the parent, but understand that this occurred after the search had taken place. They say they are taking immediate steps to review and enhance notification procedures to ensure that such inc incidents are prevented in the future. Natasha Wiggins met with school leaders last week, did not get the answer she wanted. We continue um, therapy and counseling for my daughter and hold Kip responsible. And that's what this is about. It's that you think there needs to be more accountability here. That you Absolutely. And I don't want it to happen to no one else, kid. So the school says that it acknowledges that a guardian was not called until after. They say that safety is paramount. Now, Fox 5 did obtain a police report that was made about this incident. Police believe it was the wire from the girl's bra that set off the metal detector in the first place. I asked the school if there were any specific prohibitions on the nature of the search that occurred in this private room. The response I got was that they work to make sure that any search is as minimally invasive as possible. This mother obviously thinking that's not what happened here. Much more from her coming up in our next hour. Sharin, Jacqueline. David.